Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is May 10th, 2022. I am here for my Wordle of the Day and for Food Allergy Awareness Week. Extremely important in our family because my son, when he was an infant, was diagnosed with a severe life-threatening allergy to milk, dairy, anything with butter or cheese or cream or just the slightest touch of milk. He's even had severe reactions when there has been cross contact, when the item itself didn't contain milk, but it was processed on the same equipment as milk, he's gone into an anaphylactic reaction. So he always self carries. And that's why this is so well worn, because this is his epinephrine. He uses it to stick in his leg in case uh, he accidentally ingests any dairy. And we are so, so careful about that, that that you know, has not happened very often in his life. So if uh, you have any questions or comments or concerns about food allergies, please put those in the comments below. I can help direct you to resources that might help you if you've got a child or grandchild recently diagnosed, or you're a food server and you want to know, how do I deal with this in a restaurant? I have some really good recommendations for you there. Like when a kid says, I'm allergic to I'm allergic to milk. Don't say, oh, well, here's a gluten-free menu. It doesn't work. Or if you just, you know, if you're hanging out with people and someone says, I'm allergic to milk, one of the best things to not say is, oh, I couldn't live without milk. Because that's just kind of rude. All right, let's get on to the puzzle of the day. Um, I am going to use the epinephrine as our... Uh, inspiration. I know, it's kind of sad inspiration, isn't it? But I was trying to think of stuff with food allergy, and I almost went with dairy, but there are eight or nine major food allergens. Dairy, egg, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, and sesame is emerging as one of those that is particularly dangerous to people. And so I'm going to use the word... I was going to use the word stuck... Like someone got stuck with the epinephrine and you're stuck if you don't have one. But I think I'm going to go with stick because the eye is more likely to show up in the word. Yeah, I'm modifying things a bit. Oh, now I did not expect that. I expected these three letters to show up and these to be throwaways. Okay, so there's a C and a K in this word and they may not appear together. Or if they do, they don't appear at the end of the word. Ah, uh, uh, that's bizarre. I don't even know how to process that information at this point in time. So the C could go here, or here, or here, or here. And the K could go here, or here, or here, or here. How in the world? Where in the world? Okay, so I'm a bit flustered and confused. Let's see if we can figure out something else. What if we do, oh, now I want to do medic, but I've already used up the I. What else could have a C in the center or at the, oh, we no, we could do it at the end. Hmm. Let's think about this. Let's look at other... I want to look at other letters, but I'm just so stuck with the placement. Where would the C and the K go in a five-letter word? How in the world can we fit that in there? I know that's significant in this puzzle. Does anything start with a K and end with a C? Could the C and the K go anywhere else together? That's significant, and my brain just isn't processing it. Okay, so... If we do... I don't know what to do. 
<laughs> I'm stuck. I'm going to start playing with these in here. Okay, so we know that a C and a K can't go there, right? There's nothing that works there. What if we put a C and a K here? Icky. Ooh. What about... Okay, what about sicko? <laughs> oh, we've already used the S and the I. All right, let's think about this. Let's think about... Oh, okay. If we do a C and a K and maybe a Y here, right? Okay. Rocky. <gasps> Let's try it. Oh, I feel better. This is one where I think, well, what else is it? It has to be Rocky. Without even looking to see if it could be anything else. And I could be very happy or extremely disappointed. Oh, disappointment. Oh, well. Look at that, we got an O and we've got placement. Okay, so I'm not disappointed. I'm confused, as all get out, but not disappointed. All right, so we've got a C and we've got a K. We do not have a Y here. And now here's the tricky thing, we have an O that can't go here. So it's either here or here. And I would say it's most likely going to be here. <gasps> okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. If we put the O here, it could be Gecko. It could be Gecko. Uh, it can't be Wacko because I think that's a WH. Right? We haven't used the E yet, so that might work. If I try Gecko, we would place the O, because it would either be here where I think it is, or we would exclude it, and so it would have to be here. I think that's significant enough to try it. But what else could I be missing? Um, W, let me just look through here. P... It can't be an O here, so we're only looking at things that end in O at this point in time. A, D, F, G, H. And the G, could it be Gokko? No. Yeah, see, I'm already in my brain placing the E here with all of these other letters. I think I have to try Gecko and see. All right, because where else is that all going to go? Huh? I ask you. Oh my goodness. Oh. I, this is so funny because I knew that using stick was not a good idea because even though the S, the T, and the I might show up, the C and the K were very unlikely to show up. And that is what won the game for me. If I had tried any other word. All right. That's it for me today. Wow. If you have any questions or comments, especially about food allergies or geckos, I don't know. I could do some research for you. Please put those below and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.